Hello, love. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway, it looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. And hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sierra Saturdays with Let's Play Space Quest 2. I am Olav, and I will be guiding you, hopefully, through this without too many deaths, and we'll, we'll actually make some pretty good progress. <sighs> Holy crap. I... Ah, oh, yeah! All right, so, climb log. All right. Tie rope to log. Climb rope. So now we come down, and there is this big ugly sucker right there. Now we need to say swing. Press F6 to release grip on rope. Right. But first we have to swing a ways. Um, basically we want to, when he starts reaching for us, we're good. So, swing, 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 swing. Come on, am I close enough yet? Yes. Now we jump! <laughs> so yeah, uh, pretty easy. <laughs> now, if you keep swinging, eventually you, he will just catch you. I suppose that was a death that I could have... All right, now, we are in a dark, dark hole. But we have a glowing gem, so hold gem. Bing! You take out the gem and hold it in your palm. The room is illuminated by its glow. You hear small, a small shriek and the sound of many footsteps moving away from you. So if we had gone in here without p pulling out our glowing gem... Um, oh, okay. We Basically, we would have, you know, we would have been eaten to death by little bats or monsters or something. The ground disappears... <laughs> Below your feet disappears. Crap. You tumble down through the darkness. All right. That's right. Get up. Dust yourself off. We're good. We're solid. That entrance was a rather spectacular... En that was a rather spectacular entrance. If I can read... Jeez. All systems seem to be intact, though. Huzzah. Now the gem, I think... The dwellers mumble something. Your translator responds with, Follow us, beanpole. They hurry away. Now, if I get... No. Get gem. Okay, yes. I thought I saw the gem hanging down there, and it was. It was, it was sitting on the ground. I dropped it like an idiot. Hi, guy. Welcome to our canyon. You look to be from out of town. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank you for saving our compadre from the hunters. You are welcome to stay in the canyon as long as you like. When you are ready to leave, simply say the word and my assistants will show you the only way out for being your size. When you leave, however, we must seal the exit behind you for our own protection. Goodbye and good luck. All right, so I'm going to save, and uh, critters, we'll save it as critters. Now, here's a dumb thing to do. Now, literally, you have to say, you know, we can say move rock. You are not constructed in a manner that will allow you to do anything with those with the boulders. You might get the, those little pink guys to move them. So we literally have to say the word, and boom, they push the Brock away. Now, if we didn't pick up the gem, we'd be screwed. So we say hold gem in mouth. So now we're like, ah, better. Not a great deal better, but better. And you are literally holding that glowing gem in your mouth. 
I don't want to know why, how Roger managed to get the skills to open his mouth wide enough for a big glowing gem to stick in his mouth. But, um, yes, he, he, he is holding it in his mouth. So now we have to go through, crawl through these caves. And I do not remember how the hell to get out of here. So this may take a little while. Um, let's try over here. Uh, let's try down. Okay, let's keep going over then. And down? Wait, there's a... There's there's a, a, a tunnel here. Yeah, okay. Um, let's keep going over. Nope, that is a dead end. All right, so we'll keep going over then. No, I didn't want to go up. I want to go over, and I want to go down. And that's a dead end. All right. Well, we're finding lots of dead ends, which I suppose is good. Uh, down. Is this going to dead end? No, it looks like we have... Uh, we, we, we... Wow, this is deep. Okay. But it does dead end there. But there's a tunnel over here that actually goes under the previous ladder. Well, alrighty then. I think we're good. I think we found the way out. Yes, we have. Huzzah! You have an opportunity to stand and spare your tender knees. The crystal clear water gives off a gentle glow in abundance as it is able to light the room. You take the glowing gem from between your aching jaws. You notice it is overly moist as you slip it back into your pocket. All righty. Um, Roger, we were really just supposed to hold it. We were not supposed to suck on it, but, um, you know, whatever you do, that's that's kind of your thing. Um, we're going to save again. And I think we just have to dive in and swim through. And... I don't know which way we're supposed to go. Uh, we will try the left tunnel. I don't know. Um, this does not look right. And we can't do... I can't do anything. I am stuck. I am caught in the current. <clears throat> Excuse me. Splat. <laughs> That is not a word you ever want to hear associated with yourself, is splat. After creaming off the pair off a pair of rock outcroppings, you find a final resting place at the base of the falls. Oh great. Another death on the death counter! Thank you. So yes, um obviously we want to go in the right tunnel. Whoosh! And we should probably... As you enter another of the mysterious subterranean chambers, you realize that the water is now racing towards a giant whirlpool in the middle of the area. You are caught in the strong current, powerless to alter your course. Now, see, this one, they try and make it sound like evil and, and oh, goodness, you're, you're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. But notice the other one that actually was doomed, they didn't say anything. Your body is sucked down until finally you are unable to resist you are able to resist no more and must yield to the overwhelming force. This game is really kind of creeping me out now cuz I mean first we were sucking on a a glowing gem and now we're we we must yield to an overwhelming force. And plush. We are safe and sound. Cheese. That was quite a trip. Peering around, you find yourself back in open air again. Yay! All right. Uh, pool. So, now we are trapped. But we have, uh, let's look at Whistle. So, um, whistle is un is usual looking okay now if we blow whistle you give the whistle a toot 
It makes an odd sound. You hear an incredible whirring and grinding sound coming from the north. Suddenly, a labian terror beast buzzes into the room like a tornado. He looks like he's... He could do as much damage... Wait. He lo and he looks like he can do as much damage as one. Oh, as a tornado. Right. So he's kind of looking around. Then he buzzes through. And he's basically, you know, Tasmanian devil. And he kills me. Well, ain't that a hoot. That guy reduced you to a multicolored mound of coleslaw-like matter. Better than the Mor Murfco Slice-O-Matic. You are dead, however. All right, so yes, um, just figured we should, all right, so we do need to blow the whistle, but we also, uh, throw a puzzle. You chuck the cubics room puzzle over to the beast. Huh? The beast appears interested in your offering. Why, thank you. Curiosity gets the better of it as it reaches down for it. He seems quite perplexed by the puzzling plastic polyhedron. Thank you for the alliteration, you jackasses. I hate that. So, yes, he's sitting there trying to figure out how to get how to solve the puzzle, but we want to get a rock. You pick up a small rock generated during the Terror Beast Grand Entrance. Now we go through here. Say... Duck! It won't help. Put rock in support supporter. That act would lack any serious gratification. Okay. I do have the supporter, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Um, sling rock at guard. Whoosh! You cleverly use the athletic supporter to sling the rock at the guard. It makes a it makes serious contact with the side of his head. Well, like the way you th we like the way you think. Yes, because you know using an athletic supporter to chuck a rock at a guard just makes all kinds of sense. So yes, he drops like a lead parakeet. The right thud of the of impact is momentarily sickening. He is perfectly still. Now, do I still have... No, I do not have the key card. I picked up a key card. I totally picked up a key card. But, all right, fine. Search body. You find a small, thin ma magnetic key card. Magnetic card. It looks like a key card. You seem to recall seeing one somewhere in the past. Yes, we've... Get the key card. Okay. Use key card in door. Um, in slot. No, slot. Say what? Open door. Okay, there's put key card in slot. You slide the key card into the slot and then remove it. Huzzah! As soon as the elevator door closes behind you, the platform on which you rest begins to rise. Woo woot! Get in pod. All right. Look at uh, controls. Everything looks automatic. The panel is loaded with a cl with clusters of system status indicators. There's a power button, an attitude button, and an ascend thruster button. Push power. Now, I am going to save this because this is always kind of a tricky one. Um, pull throttle? There is no horizontal control until minimum altitude has been achieved. Okay, um, look at buttons. Push, um, um, push attitude. Look at controls. Uh, power and altitude dial and a send thruster button. Push thruster button. All right, 
shuttle begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite. Now, if we say, um, okay, I think we're we're on the right we're on the right path here. But if now if we say push throttle, pull throttle. Okay, turn knob. Um. There's power ascent, turn dial. It's now set to VAC. Okay, push throttle. Because you are terminally weak above the shoulders, you guide the ship into the ground. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, turn dial. Pull throttle. Now that takes us up. All right. Cool. So, uh, all right. Basically, we just let it go until, um, until we, and, and basically keep going until we get into space. Which could take a while. Come on, we're already at 16 minutes of record time, so... Can we please hurry? We need to end this soon. I mean, as much as I enjoy this game, and I'm sure you guys enjoy the game, there's only so much time we have to dedicate to it. We're off the planet. Good work, Olav. Thank you. A tone sounds. A soft, synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. A synth thrusters are now ineffective. The monitor draws your attention again. All right. So we say turn knob again. Uh, oh, push throttle? Now this should be, uh, okay. Um, push thruster button. Uh, turn dial. It's not a knob, it's a dial. Okay, now it's horizontal control. All right, so we say push throttle. A sc the screens are suddenly splashed with the incredibly horrible visage of Sludge Vohal. Hello, love. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway, it looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. Don't bother trying to pilot the vehicle. I have taken control. You will be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously await your arrival. He closes with a chilling laugh. His image is frozen on the screens. The ship changes course as if it had a life of its own. All you can do is hang on. All right, so yes, we are, uh, we will... Off planet. Uh, we will save real quick. We will go ahead and just uh, wait for it to wait. Wait to get to the uh, the ship. Okay. Yes. You feel the ship. Volhall start as Volhall stated. Nothing works. Yes. So yes. Now we're kind of banking around and turning, and there's the asteroid again. You. Bastard, I will get you, you evil sucker. Through the window you see your apparent destination, Vohal's asteroid. Yay! Progression, progression. That's right, into the orifice, into the sphincter of the asteroid. And yes, it was necessary for me to use that word, shut up. The massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. As you step down, the shuttle door slams behind you. You are quite surprised not to find several of Vohal's guards waiting to greet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientist might have in store for you. Well, we are going to have to wait until next time to find out. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! Voodoo spell. Uh, I think I'm getting dizzy.
Overcome Bro. by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses. Restricted to a four block special area and not allowed out until they were below 300 kilograms or 661 pounds. 